Welcome to the new shop. We made it. Ooh. Well, the first thing to do is start uh, fixing these holes. Well, that ought to do just fine, eh? Welcome here, thanks for tuning in. So, here we are. We made it to Alberta. Family and I got in yesterday and cannot believe it. Check out what is behind me. That's right, all of it made it. We're here, guys. We're here, I'm so fired up. Check it out. Happy to see some additional strappage and protection put on. Nice. I think we're in really good shape here. I think we're in really good shape. A couple extra straps put on here and there by the drivers. I'm glad they did a good job. Good job. All right, so here's the problem. It's 9 a.m. and I found out that my forklift is scheduled to show up at noon. So the truck driver is super good about it. He's just like, no problem. I'm going to go sleep in my cab. When the guy gets here, wake me up. So that's cool. Super bummed out about that though, because I want to get this stuff unloaded ASAP. But anyways, I can't believe that we got it. It's all here. I'm doing this. Yes. Next scene, unloading. Everything looks pretty good. Went super well. Check out the yard sale here though. Stuff scattered everywhere here. This one's getting hit bad being out here. Ah, <sighs> not good. And there was a cover over this. Looked sort of like this. It's gone. That's very disappointing. I should have thought that through. I just forgot about it. I'll have to make something up and keep going though. And let me tell you, it is not a good feeling to see this stuff on the grass, just yard sailing out here. Somehow, oh, that's nasty. This got into the back of the coal forge. I didn't put it there. Maybe the truck driver did. Maybe it blew in, but I'm stoked. There we go. Shop's gonna be starting today, hopefully. These guys have been at it for two and a half days. And look where we're at. Yeah, the whole shop is done. Well, I'll show you, but like, put it up so fast. I wouldn't have even believed it if I didn't see it with my eyes. Wanna go in the shop for the first time ever? <laughs> Let me show you this bad boy. I already got the forge in here. This is where the shop's at. It's just a shell because that's all the money I had. It's 36 feet wide, 60 feet long with a 16 foot ceiling. I'm just pumped up to make this space special, you know? Excited to share it with you, show you, bring you along on the adventure of building the rest of the shop out. So we gotta get this set up. This is gonna be a temporary setup until we get things finished here. Poor rusty anvil. Um, here's going to be the game plan moving forward. Next video is going to be pouring the concrete for the power hammer foundation for best shape. That's priority one because that needs 30 days to set up because it's so much concrete. 
So that means we're projected into September before I could even think about running the power hammer. So that's a long time away. Got to push for that. Second thing I got to push for is I got to get the shop insulated, covered up with tin, the insulation, and a heater in it. Because if I don't do that before winter, I will freeze my behind off. Actually, it's even more than that. Because it's going to get so cold here in Alberta, um, if I'm not heating the shop, I don't think I'll be able to run the power hammers because they just won't be able to move in the cold. So it's actually really important. The problem is, is I actually spent all my money. The war chest has been cracked open to put the shop up to this size. So I got to make some money. AK, Tim's got to get back to work making things. Last video I posted uh, 12 different or unique bottle openers and some of those are for sale on the website. Some of you have placed orders. Thank you so much for that. That's why I've got the cold forge here, the anvil. I'm going to set up and I'm going to get cranking on those, get those out ASAP. If you haven't seen that video, take a look at it. Check out my website. Pre-orders for the Blackhawk hatchets and axes are still open. Martin is just cranking like a savage beast back on the coast trying to get done what I had forged pre-hand. If you're interested in that, I would really love your support on one of those. Also, enough of you have asked about the collaborative hammer with Ethan Hardy um, because we sold it so fast. Is there going to be more? I'm going to open it up for pre-order and that'll be delivering sometime in the fall. So moving forward, we're just going to get cranking on videos and getting those products out to you. This has been a huge blessing for me to be able to move my family and myself out here in the shop. I just look forward to cranking out more videos. I'm pumped up guys, I'm pumped up. Thanks for watching, super appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Till then, keep the forge lit, eh? Over and out.